Hey family and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So hopefully you can hear me over my air conditioner. It is so hot in California and I need some air. <laughs> okay, so today I want to discuss the fall, as I like to call it, the fall before cheating. So there are several videos on the internet as far as why men cheat. I actually did that video. Of course, I will link it up above at some point. Um, actually now, I'll put it up above right now. So after this video, you know that you can press the I and go ahead and check out why men cheat. Today, I want to kind of talk about the psychology of it all and the breakdown. So I'm calling it the fall before the cheating. Stay tuned. Okay, family, thank you so much for coming on back. So before I get started, I have three online programs. If you are a seasoned subscriber here, then you have already heard about this program. And thank you so much for all of you out there who have already supported me. Thank you so much. Now, but if you are a new subby or somebody who just found my channel, let me go ahead and explain what my online courses are. I have three online courses, as I mentioned, one for my super single people out there. That is just a title that I like to call my super single people who are not dating anyone at all. You are trying to figure out yourself. You need to work on yourself. You need to understand what you want, need, and desire. So that program is what I'm calling my super single program. And honestly, that is not the actual title of the program. That is just so you, when you look down in the description box below, you can find the title easier and go ahead and click that link and purchase the program so you can start working on you. It is going to help you understand all about yourself, which is actually ideal before we get into relationships, but we, know, but we definitely know that most people don't do that right so which leads me into my online course the second course which is for those of those of you guys who are actually in the dating stages so that course is going to help you build up your confidence as well as help you navigate through the dating stages what I mean by that is to actually understand what you should be looking for um, like you writing down your deal breakers list you sticking by your deal breakers list just it's going to give you so much confidence when you do go out into the dating stages and, and and you're actually out on a date and some of the things that you can actually be doing so you too can be confident and like some of the conversations that you need to have it is definitely going to help you out in your dating stages and also helping you to choose the right partner now yes you have to actually do the work the program is not going to do the work for you but if you do the work you will see a huge difference in the quality of man so sorry gentlemen this program is specifically for my ladies but it's absolutely going to help you choose the best man for you. Now the third program is for all of my people who are actually in relationships and you're in a long term relationship or in a marriage and you need a boost in your relationship to help all of those young happy go lucky feelings come back around. You want to stay connected with your partner and this is just another way to let the mundaneness or the routineness of your relationship kind of fall by the wayside at least every once in a while. Like I get it, we like stability, we like routines for the gist of it but if you want to bring that freshness back to your relationship absolutely go ahead and check out my long term slash marriage course down below again as i mentioned i'm using the titles that i'm using so it's easier for you to find them but that is not the titles of any of my online courses so just to be clear about that but thank you so much again for all of you guys who have already supported and um Thank you for anybody else who is going to future support your girl. Okay, so go ahead and do that so I can continue to make these videos free for you guys. All right, so that is a way for you to support my movement, which is to decrease that divorce rate significantly y'all that is my mission that is my passion this is why i started this youtube channel yes i'm kind of rambling on i am going to get past this but that is absolutely the reason why i started this youtube channel just to pass along some of the knowledge that i have actually received and to give it to you guys so we together can decrease that divorce rate significantly by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate now without further ado so i'm not going to talk about some of the things that you've already heard in your other why do why do people cheat why do men cheat why do women cheat videos i am going to talk about the breakdown before you even get there all right so you have to understand i want to clarify that you have to understand that before cheating even occurs now this is for people who are not necessarily 
you're not looking to get into a relationship to cheat. Now, if you're a cheater, then you're a cheater and this is not for you, right? But if you are a person or you have actually been there yourself, this is what happened as to why you did cheat. Or at least there are some similarities here as to why you felt the need to cheat on your partner or why your why your partner felt the need to cheat on you. Now, as a disclaimer, I have to say that it is not your business for um, you to try to stop your partner from cheating on you. That is all about your partner's choice. But again, if you were the cheater, then this is some things that might have been happening with you and you didn't even realize it. So seriously, I'm going to jump into it. So the thing is, again, the very first thing that you really have to think about when cheating even comes into play, it's all in the mind before it actually happens absolutely all in the mind. Why it's all in the mind is because there is a breakdown in your relationship. Now the breakdown that I'm going to specifically talk about today is the communication aspect of your relationship. This is why you hear this all the time that communication is so very important. It truly is so very important. So I'm going to specifically concentrate on the communication aspect of the breakdown. All right. So again, your communication is something in your relationship that is not going well, specifically com your communication. So because there is a breakdown in your communication, now your mind is starting to wonder and do different things in your mind. And you're, you might even start having these fantasies about you being with somebody else because maybe this is not the right partner for you, or you might have had your eye or maybe even kind of flirting with somebody else. Okay. The second thing that I want to concentrate on is that in that communication, that breakdown or lack of communication, one or both of you is feeling like you have a point to prove. And because you have a point to prove, it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, you are not going to be the first one to break the silence. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. You or your partner, whose ever uh, uh, issue it is with the communication or I have a point to prove I'm not going to say anything first. So if they never come to me, then I guess we're not talking, right? One of y'all have that kind of attitude, or maybe both of you have that kind of attitude, which is a breakdown in the communication, what I said, and also which is leading into point number three, that right there, that breakdown and that ego thing that's coming into play is starting to create distance. And if you or your partner is the person who kind of just doesn't necessarily care when you two talk again, that is when the mind is still playing tricks on you. And it's like, you know what, if this person don't want to talk to me or cuddle with me or whatever it is, you know, communicate and actually figure out what this thing is, guess what? Oh girl, she been checking me out. Or, oh boy, he been checking me out. And I'll just go over there and get my little emotional feel, my emotional connection with somebody else. And this is where these new friends come into play. And now um, you are sharing this emotional side with you. Or with them, excuse me, with them. You're starting to share this emotional side of yourself outside of your household. Again, break down the communication. Y'all stubborn. Both of y'all or one of y'all is being stubborn. Y'all not working through the issue. And then your mind is already paying tricks on you. you. You looking good to other people. And so now other people are starting to feed into your ear about how good you look. And now because it's not right at the home, guess what? Now you exchange exchanging numbers. Now you exchange exchanging emails. You might even be sneaking out to meet said person. All because you are not doing what you need to do at the household. Again, because you're not committed to doing what you need to do in the household, you are actually not committed to making things work no matter what. Now, as a disclaimer, I want to throw in here, I'm not talking about any type of abuse in your relationship. If you are in an ab abusive situation, then I'm absolutely saying get out. I'm, I'm definitely saying get out because I'm not advocating for abuse. However, because you are not committed to making the relationship work no matter what, or it's an ego thing that's getting in the way, that distance is only continuously building and building. And so say for instance, 
you decide to um, do what you want to do and now this is causing a breakdown in your relationship it's a communication issue or it could be a miscommunication issue that one or both of you uh, I'm sorry that one of the parties don't understand why the other party is actually mad honestly I'm throwing this one in here because I literally just went through this with my husband uh, we had a miscommunication I had no idea that he was mad at me about um, something he felt that I should apologize for but I had no idea that I should have apologized for this thing long story short he shut down and he went into you know being stubborn mode so I'm trying to figure out what is going on with with him and why is he so quiet you know not being his so um, his 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 uh, normal self the way that we are with each other so a couple days went by I went to him what's going on with you he's not telling me basically so he's not sharing this information he's holding on to something that I have no idea about so again it's a breakdown in your communication and so finally okay I'm like okay one of us got to figure this thing out because this is this is ridiculous. Like, what are you even mad about? I have no idea what you're mad about. And so if the other person has no idea, again, it could be a miscommunication in your relationship. So moving on from that, I will say that if you are the person who decides to stay mad, stay stubborn for days at a time or weeks at a time, that is only creating more and more distance. And the more often that you do that, the more the enemy, the devil, gets a chance to get into your spouse's head and letting all these other parties start to get into your relationship. Because lots of times, not 100%, but most of the time, women cheat because there is a lack of emotional communication and satisfaction in the relationship. If you are not connecting with your woman emotionally, there is a high probability that she can go out there and cheat. That doesn't mean she's going to leave you because you are bringing something to the table, but that emotional factor that she absolutely is craving, that she needs, she could cheat on you because you are not meeting that. And if you are the party who is the stubborn guy and you're at for periods of time, long periods of time, there's that distance, there's that separation, there is no connection with your partner. You are giving another guy a chance to hone in on your girl and put his claws into your girl and, and potentially suck your girl away from you. Suck her away, meaning she's gone from you now. All because that stubborn, that ego needs to be there. You need to be right. She gonna have to come apologize to me. I ain't saying and nothing to her you doing all of this stuff not knowing that old boy has been in her ear and he talking to a real good real fine real sexy she's beautiful whatever it is that he's implanting in her head and all of that may be true and you might have seen all of that at one time but right now and for long periods of time there's always this distance and separation I'm not saying that you're wrong what I am saying is that you're giving another guy a chance to come in on your territory and you're making it easy for him. And you also have to take responsibility in the fact that you play a part in the girl cheating on you. Now, was it her absolute choice? Absolutely. At the end of the day, it was her choice. But you played a part in giving another person a chance to get your girl for her to cheat on you. Now, sisters, let me get on you, okay? Because I didn't get on the men. Another thing, why we have to pay attention to our relationships and how the breakdown in the communication comes, men cheat not a hundred percent of the time but a lot of times they're cheating because they don't think that they can talk to you about the things that they want to do with you sexually in the bedroom you are not fun in the bedroom you are not adventurous in the bedroom he's come to you and ask you to do one two three things before and you're like oh that's nasty I don't want to do that uh, no no you're doing all of this stuff or or you're 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 letting some of your childhood stuff get in your way and maybe it could have been some of your um, religious upbringing that's all in your head and if you are married specifically God says that your bedroom cannot be defiled so that means any and everything that you want to do with your husband with your wife in your bedroom y'all can do yeah, I'm just letting that sink in. So specifically, if you are married, 
you can do whatever. I'm not saying you have to like it, but what I am saying is at least try it one time so you can't so your partner, so your man can never say you ain't never tried and I've been asking you for X amount of time to do X amount of thing. And guess what? He might not tell you and you might think it's the most gross thing out there, but this is where his mind has been working. And that sexy fine girl been over there in his ear about how fine he is and what she want to do to him and how she want to I'm trying to keep it PG but I'm just saying I actually talked to a guy not too long ago and and because I'm actually a relationship coach I really hear a lot more um, from the fellas than they would tell any other woman so I'm saying that because this guy literally told me a few weeks ago how he cheated on his wife and I'm like well you know what was going on with that like what happened and so he basically broke it down he has been talking to her and talking to her and talking to her and talking to her about how I'm just gonna put it in my own wording how boring she is in the bedroom and um, long story short he didn't go out there with a prostitute or um, you know somebody like that but he did go to a massage parlor and had a happy ending okay And on top of that, said he was going back. All because he'd been, he, now literally, this is not the first conversation that he's had with me about him trying to beg his wife to be more adventurous in the bedroom. Now, again, I am not saying what he did was right. Don't mistake what I'm saying. But I am saying she she's leaving the door consistently open for him to go outside the house to get his sexual pleasures and met. Now, at the end of the day, yes, it's his choice to do. Should he be doing it? No, he shouldn't be doing it. However, he should not have to feel like he needs to beg and 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 beg only to keep hearing no, 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 no. Damn it, I'm trying to tell you what I want. I'm trying to tell you what I need to be satisfied completely with you. Because this is the only thing he says is wrong in his relationship. And they've been married, they've been married for 30 something years. Married for 30 something years. This is the consistent thing that always comes up when him and I talk. It's always about the sex with his wife. Always about the sex and how he's asking her to do X, Y, and D, and she will not partake. I'm just saying it's a breakdown in the communication from the very beginning, and you're letting it become a breeding ground for somebody else to slide right in there. And not only does the cheating occur, if that person gets their claws into your mate really deep. You have basically lost them, and you have no idea how this occurred. It's all about the small things and the tiny steps each and every time that a breakdown happens and the ego gets in the way and nobody wants to figure out how to solve said problem and not only talk about it that time, but actually have actions behind your words to actively not do these things anymore. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about this particular conversation. Don't forget to go ahead and watch the video. Um, I made it, I think I made it over a year ago as to why men pull away. I absolutely feel like that are that those are some of the reasons why men pull away. But this video is for people in general. And why I, I say I said pull away, but I mean cheating. I specifically made a video for cheat. I made a video for pulling away too, but in this video I'm talking about cheating. So go ahead and check out the video on why men cheat. This video again is about everybody. This is men and women. I covered both sexes, but a lot of it is a breakdown in the communication that you are being stubborn about and not taking care of. So please let me know your thoughts. Has anything ever happened to you like this? Have you ever even thought about it in this aspect? Will you change things now that I've brought it to your attention? How will you handle things in your relationship as of today? Definitely give me thumbs up. Share it with everybody that you know who needs to hear this message because I think that this message is valid for everybody.